Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Well, it's chilly out today. It's only 58 degrees right now. It's going to be a high of 65, and it's drizzling rain and cloudy, and not a good day to go outside and do anything in the garden. So I will be doing some things inside, maybe some light cleanup, or maybe I'll venture into the garage or down the basement and do a couple things. I don't know. It's too early to tell. I like to sit and relax for a while before I jump into any chores or tasks or anything like that. I don't like to start the day off in a big rush because that sort of sets the tone for the whole day. And I don't want to do that. So today I'm having the rice coffee again. I'm going to have that until I use it up. And then I probably won't be ordering that anymore because it's too expensive. So, but it is tasty. But I think it's... Every time they send me a package of it, it's it's two packages and it's like $55. That's a little too rich for my budget. So, but I have plenty. Um, I guess when you subscribe to their uh, coffee, it's an automatic um, subscription. So they'll just keep sending it to you until you get in there and and stop the auto ship. So, wow, that didn't make much coffee. I guess I didn't put enough water in there. But that's okay. I can always add some water. So, I'm still going to be setting up my computer. Yesterday I was doing the printers and all that, and I don't know. Everything is with apps now, which wasn't the case with my old computer. My old computer is about, oh, at least 10 years old. So I was pretty savvy with that one, but this new computer is a whole new learning curve for me. And that's okay. I guess it keeps the brain a little bit more functional which is something that's always a concern as you get older, is your brain function. So, all right, let's give this rise a taste. I know what it tastes like, but I'm going to taste it anyway. Cheers. Yeah, it is tasty. It it has more the consistency of a hot chocolate. It's much creamier and it's thicker than coffee. But, like I said, I drink my coffee on an empty stomach, which for me is not a good idea. So I figured I would drink the rice instead and see how that works out. It's supposed to be good for your gut health. So anyway, I'm going to go enjoy this cup of coffee, and I will meet you over there at the budget book. Okay, back at my budget book. It's almost the end of the month. Yesterday I didn't spend anything. Didn't go out to the store, didn't order anything online. Um, I did order some shelving here and some storage containers and they should some of it should be arriving today and some of it Thursday and Friday so I'll be doing some rearranging down in the basement of my food stash and get that squared away because right now it's a mess so I don't know how it got to be such a mess. <laughs> well, yes, actually I do. I had to pull a lot of food out. I threw a lot of food away because I had a, mice pro pro a mouse problem. 
So I don't know what the status is on that. Um, so far we haven't caught any more, but that doesn't mean the little buggers aren't hiding around in the corners. So every now and then I still see some evidence, but I don't know how long the evidence has been there since I don't check everything every day. But it certainly has been an exercise in frustration and annoying. Um, I still don't know where they were coming in, but what I'm going to do is after the pressure washing gets done on the outside of the back, I'm going to, I bought some spray, some rodent deterrent, and I'm going to spray the whole foundation of the house, and I'll do that a couple of times, and then that should keep them out, hopefully. Along with that, I'm also going to spray the foundation for bugs, because usually every spring I get ants that come in, and I don't want those buggers in here either. So far, they haven't shown up this year yet. So we'll see. Um, you know, it's not like I want to wipe out nature. That, that's not my intent. But it needs to stay outside and not in my house. So one of the other houses we lived in, this was way before I had a food stash or anything like that. It was more uh, in the country, sort of. We had a nice woods behind us. It was a beautiful piece of property. Um, and we used to get mice in there every now and then. Um, so they do come in. Um, I guess, you know, it doesn't have to be particularly because you have a food stash. They want to come in out of the cold. They, they you know, want to be warm and cozy in your house, just like you are. But they need to stay outside. So uh, that's the status on that, and um, so far so good. I'm still debt free, even though I've bought things for the garden and I've bought things for the house. Um, I'm going to have to do my garage, and I don't know what I need for out there. I did have shelving, more shelving put up there uh, a few months ago, so I'm utilizing that. And I have a lot of storage cabinets out there that I have to go through and purge a lot of the things that are in there, like old electronics and old books, um, just all kinds of things. I've, I've gone through them many times before, but every year I get rid of more things. So that's always good. Uh, I just don't need that much stuff anymore. But I do want what I, what I need, you know, like if I need a weed whacker, I want that, or a, or a, a leaf blower, or, you know, any tools that I still need and can use, th then I'll keep them because I can always get rid of them on my next go-round if I find that it's really not a useful thing for me. So anyway, that's what I've been doing, and we only have a couple days left in this month. Um, like I said, not a stellar month for not spending, but that actually wasn't my goal. It was my goal to get the things I need and to remain debt-free, which I've managed to do. So okay, that's it for my little budget book chat today. How are you guys doing on your budget? Are you sticking to it? Are you drifting? Um, let me know in the comments below. And how do you manage your budget and manage to stay debt-free? Or are, are you paying off your debt and are you doing okay? Um, that's a journey I was on for a good four years. And it feels really good to finally have it all paid off. So, okay. Let's see what it's doing outside. It's raining. Mama Robin wants me to go inside. She's right there. There she is. I've noticed both the male and the female hang around. I don't know if they both feed them. I imagine they do. Okay, Mama. 
I just wanted to check the weather. Stay warm and dry. Go sit on your babies. All right, I'll leave you to it. This morning, I'm drinking my coffee here in the garage, <clears throat> and <laughs> I'm trying to think of a plan how to sort all this stuff out. <laughs> yes, it's a hoard. I don't even know how it got this way. This is just awful. But anyway, I'm trying to come up with a plan so I don't go into full-out panic attack mode. <laughs> But I have to say, some of these things back here are empty boxes that I've saved for the garden and also for purging some of my things. Cheers! So I thought to myself, how am I going to get through this mess? without totally losing my composure. <laughs> so what I'm thinking about doing is just working in chunks of time, whether that's a half an hour to an hour, but not more than an hour, because otherwise I'm just going to wear myself out. I'm going to get overwhelmed with it, and I'm just going to stop and not do anything. It's going to make me freeze and then I won't accomplish anything. So that's what I'm thinking about doing, just working in 30 to 60 minute increments and um, getting boxes, some of these boxes, and just putting the donate keep and big black garbage bags for trash. So today's Wednesday, tomorrow is garbage day. So I'm hoping to get at least one bag of garbage out of here into the curb, but we'll see. <clears throat> at some point, I have to stop. I, I figured I would work uh, simultaneously, depending on the mood I'm in, in between my long-term pantry and the garage, but the same time limits are going to um, be for both projects. So uh, honestly, I don't even care if I don't get this um, done by fall, but I'm going to keep working on it until I do get it done. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to work on it every single day. There'll be days where I'll be doing other things, but at least a couple times a week, I want to get out here and do some some organizing and purging and some of this stuff um, <clears throat> I'll be putting back in the garden. A lot of this stuff is actually gardening stuff, but it's things that I won't use anymore. So I have to make the decision, is it trash or is it something that I can pass along to others? Um, I have to see when I get in there and actually look and see what's going on. 
So anyway, that's my plan. Fingers crossed that it's going to work out for me. And um, I'll just keep plugging away at it until I get it done. So you'll probably be seeing a little bit of progress videos every now and then. And um, that'll hold me accountable, which is something that I need to do. And uh, eh, hopefully it'll work out the way I'm thinking it's going to in my head. But the first thing I have to do, and that's why I'm sitting here looking at this, is come up with a, a plan and how I'm going to work my way through this pile. So, okay. <laughs> There's my terrible, terrible garage clutter. Oh, it's beyond clutter. My garage hoard. Well, I've been working out here for about an hour, and I got this area cleared up. Um, so I, I made pretty good progress. All this stuff I need to sort through yet. I, a lot of gardening stuff in there that I have to make a decision if I want to continue to do that or not continue. And then, of course, I have this big armoire that I'm still trying to decide what to do with. I thought maybe I could put it right here and just leave a pathway because these are storage cupboards back there. And... I don't know yet what I'm going to do. So anyway, over here, I put this microwave that we used to have in the basement, but I have another one down there now, and it works perfectly fine. And the reason I have it out here is because sometimes I like to sit out here when it's all cleaned up on a rainy day, and I heat up my coffee in there. But not just for that reason, but I also have uh, some microwave glass kilns that I thought I would like to get back to that and start making some more jewelry again. I think that would be fun. And then if I decide not to do that, well, then I can get rid of it maybe in a year or so and uh, just carry on from there. In that pile I have, these are for donation, these boxes, this is garbage, so this will be going out to the trash, and I still have lots more work to do out here, but hey, it's a start, and I'm happy with the progress that I made today. So I'd much rather see what's going on out here instead of looking at what's going on inside my garage, and um, over here... I have these shelves in this little greenhouse. I'm going to take the cover off of here because this is where I want to put my pop-up greenhouse. So this will be going inside of the pop-up greenhouse. And I don't know, the association will probably send me another nasty gram, but oh well. So, and the garden's looking nice and fresh. It's been raining for a couple days. So I'm happy with that. It's all lush and green and looking very happy. So I'm taking a coffee break. Cheers. So this is the time in the afternoon between 2 and 3 where I just say, oh, that's enough. And I start walking like I'm 90. Honestly, my mom walks better than I do. But at this time of the day, my whole spine has gone like this. So, but I'm very happy with uh, what I accomplished today in the garage. Um, still lots of work to do out there. Lots of sorting. I have tons of pots and things that I really am not going to use. Um, my plants that I'm planning on keeping all have pots, but there are a few out there that I may need to up pot or something like that, so those I'll keep. And then I do want to keep the stuff for the winter sowing, 
and I'll see if I do it this year. And if I don't do it this year, then I can still get rid of that stuff. But it's sort of what I'm planning that I still want to do um, because I don't want to sew anything in the house anymore other than maybe something in my arrow garden knockoff. But, um, so, I don't know, we'll see. This is a very transitional period in my life because uh, I've gone from, you know, being a very active woman, um, getting things done and doing a lot and being able to do a lot, to not so active, not that I don't want to be active, but because of some physical limitations, I have to, you know, live within what I can do. So I have to sort of um, make adjustments, and that's what I'm doing. But I'm going to take my time and get it done. So if I'm able to do this two or three times a week, um, hopefully I'll have it done by fall, but we'll see. So, all right. Well, that's all I have for you today, my friends. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I can't reach. <laughs> and I'm not getting up. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.